Hello all. We have learned about a horizontal section plane, vertical section plane, and auxiliary inclined plane. Auxiliary inclined plane means the plane which is perpendicular to VP and inclined at an angle with the HP. And we have done three problems in auxiliary inclined plane for obtaining the front view, top view, and the true shape of the section. You can see the problem in the description and also on the screen right now. The problem is a cylinder 30 mm diameter and 70 mm long is lying on HP with its axis parallel to HP and inclined 30 degree with VP. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP, inclined 40 degree with the HP and passing through the midpoint of the axis of the solder. Draw the front view, sectional top view and true shape of the section. What are the dimensions of the true shape of the section? This is the problem. We'll read again. A cylinder 30 mm diameter and 70 mm long is lying on HP with its axis parallel to HP and inclined 30 degree. See, a cylinder of 30 mm diameter and 70 mm length is lying on HP with its axis parallel to HP and inclined 30 degree. To HP. How can we construct the simple position? See, since the cylinder is lying on the ground with its axis parallel to HP, with its axis parallel to HP. See, if this is a cylinder, that cylinder can be placed like this or like this. Then only the axis of the cylinder become parallel to the ground, right? If you are placing the cylinder like this, the axis is perpendicular to the ground. So, in, for this case, the cylinder should be placed like this or like this. Usually, what we are doing is, Either in the top view or in the front view, we have to see the base of the solid. In this case, uh, since the axis is not perpendicular, we cannot place like, place like this. So, since the axis is parallel to HP, we can place like this. Because, if we are placing like this means, in the front view, you can see its uh, symbol position, that is the circle, right? So, we can place like this. So, in this front view, you can see its uh, simple position that is in the front view you can see the circle and in the top view you can see the top view of the cylinder so in the front view you can see the circle Let us see B, C, D, E, then F, G, and H. Then it is given that axis is inclined. 30 degree with the heat, right? Axis is inclined 30 degree with the heat. So we know that if the axis is inclined 30 degree, we can place its base as inclined as 60 degree. So inclination 60 degree. Now, this should be projected for obtaining the front view.
the level of that other side is not needed. That's why I didn't label that. I hope all of you have understood what I have done. That means for obtaining the front view of the cylinder in the inclined position, right? This angle is given as 30 degree. Now, what we have to do is, we can look at the axis also. This is O1, this is O2. So, this is the axis. So, the position of the solid in the inclined position has been obtained. Now we have to check for the what it is the section plane. It is given that uh, it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP inclined 40 degree with HP. That means this inclination with is 40 degree and passing through the middle point of the axis of the solid. Okay. So, passing through the middle point of the axis of the solid, that means uh, bisecting the axis of the solid, we have to obtain the section plane which is a perpendicular to VP. So, since the plane is perpendicular to VP, in your front view, you can see the cutting edge of the vertical trace. So, that vertical edge should pass through the midpoint of the axis, right? So, this is the midpoint of the axis and if this is the midpoint of the axis, we can take a section plane like this at an inclination of 40 degree. So, this will be the section plane. Am I correct? This will be the section plane. This is other generators that also I have to draw. Now, look at the intersection point, right? So, the section plane intersect one point at here that is one dash two points here because the two generators are there one generator is passing through the point h and the another generator is passing through the point f so two generators are there so two dash three dash similarly this is axis at the same time two generators are also passing through the axis so we have to obtain the intersection points there that will be 4 dash and 5 dash here it will be 6 dash 7 dash and the final intersection point will be somewhere here that is 8 dash now we have to transfer the corresponding points to the top view so when we are transferring that you will get the point 1 as a point on the generator g so it will be here 1 then 2 and 3 will be the generators on the generators through F and H. This is the generator through F. So, this will be 2. This is the generator through H. Though, so, this will be 3. Now, 4 and 5 are passing through the generators A and E. So, this is A and this is E. So, this will be 4 and this will be 5. Now, 6 and 7 are passing through generators B and D. So, this is B, so this, this is D, so this will be 5 and, sorry, 6 and this will be 7 and the final point, that is the point is 8, is on the generator 8, sorry, on the generator C, so this will be uh, point 8. Connect all these points or enclose all these points, we will get uh, You will get a shape like this, you can hatch and if you are removing that means uh, you can remove this also. So that uh, this is the final top view of the section, hope you have understood. Now you have to, we have to obtain the true shape of the section, for obtaining the true shape uh, first we have to draw, first we have to draw a line parallel to the vertical trace now draw normals from every points that means uh, through 8 through 6 7 through 4 5 through 2 dash 3 dash 
through one dash. I think all of you understood, understood what I have done. Then take the distance of 5 from XY line mark here so that we will get a 5. Take the distance of 4 from the XY line that this much distance and mark here. So this will be 4. Then take this distance of 3 mark here that will come somewhere around here similarly we can take 2 that will come somewhere here then we can take 1 mark here similarly we will get 6 and 7 in this line and also point 0.8 so that the resulting image will be ellipse okay so this is the row shape of the section so what we have done it is given that uh, the cylinder is placed on placed with the axis parallel to hp so since it is placed the axis parallel to HP, in the front view we can see the circle. So in the front view we have to draw the circle. The top view is constructed. Divide the circle into eight equal parts. Then the in the second case the axis is inclined 30 degree with VP. So since axis is inclined 30 degree, we draw with the base at an inclination of 60 degree. So we draw, we reconstruct or reproduce this image here, and the corresponding front view of this world is also obtained. Now it is given that uh, it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP inclined at an angle 40 degree with the HP and passing through the midpoint of the axis. So the so through the midpoint of the axis draw a vertical trace at an inclination of 40 degree that line intersects at 8 points in the generators of cylinder 1 here 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8. Look at the corresponding points in the top view as we explained before. Then, after obtaining the true shape, after obtaining the top view of the image, draw a for, draw an auxiliary line parallel to this vertical trace. Then, draw normal through all the points. Select these 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 distance and mark corresponding points here so that we have obtained the true shape. So, okay. So I think all of you have understood. Thank you.